Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to Wowhead's Downtime Tuesday. My name is Panzer and today I'm going to be talking about the happenings of the past week in the world of Warcraft. I hope that you enjoy this video and if you do, remember to rate it thumbs up. Foundry Normal and Heroic opened on February 2nd and Wowhead has strategy guides for all of the encounters. Also, keep in mind that once you've cleared Blackrock Foundry, you can speak with Goraluk and Volkrak to unlock a quest which when completed will reward players with the ability to skip ahead directly to Blackhand. Now if you complete that quest on higher difficulties, it will unlock the Blackhand skip on lower difficulties as well. And in case you're curious, if you do choose to skip ahead to Blackhand, you still can go back and kill and loot the earlier bosses. Remember that time that I said this? But if I were a gambling girl, I would put my money on something Heroes of the Storm related, sort of the way that the hearth steed was earned through Hearthstone, although it should be noted that that is just my personal speculation and I am often wrong. Well, the only part that I was correct about in that is that I am often wrong. The Glorious Purple Kitty is a Blizzard Storm mount called the Mystic Rune Saber. Although, I was not incorrect in my notion that there would be a promotional item for Heroes of the Storm, but instead of that mount, it's this pet, the Grave Golem. Also coming soon is a new Refer Friend mount called the Cinder Main Charger, complete with its very own achievement. Just a quick note, mostly everything else I talk about today is from the upcoming patch 6.1. Information from the PTR is tentative and subject to change, so please keep that in mind. I've noticed a lot of people complaining about the upcoming selfie camera in patch 6.1, and for all of you selfie naysayers, I have some excellent news. Blizzard is implementing possibly the most hilarious way to troll your friends taking selfies in the form of the photo bomb toy, which is obtained from the Blinktron 5000. Using the photo bomb toy summons a master photo bomber to add some character to your friends' selfies. Kind of amazing. And while we're on the topic of selfies, of course the selfie camera can be upgraded to include filters and now we have previews of each one. Check it out. This is the default filter, the sketch filter, the black and white filter, and the death filter. 6.1 will be bringing a bunch of updates to the Dark Moon Fair, including new games, new toys, and new vanity rewards. In fact, some existing games will be getting new rewards. Like, for instance, the Turtle Ring Toss game will now be rewarding players who land 10 rings with the Dark Moon Ring Flinger toy, and the Tonk Challenge will be rewarding players who score 45 hits with the Dark Moon Tonk Controller toy. And we talked a little bit about this last week, but there is also a new racing game coming to the Dark Moon Fair. What's super cool is that there are four different mounts you can complete the race on and eight total different rewards you can earn for achieving gold. Once 6.1 hits, heirlooms purchased from the Dark Moon Fair will cost 50 tickets each and will work through level 60. Heirlooms purchased from the Dark Moon Fair prior to 6.1 will work through level 90 to accommodate the new 1 to 60, 60 to 90, 90 to 100 heirloom system. Also available for purchase from the Dark Moon Fair are heirloom casings and heirloom scabbards, which will upgrade, <laughs> not upload, upgrade your heirlooms to level 90. Obviously, it is not just the Dark Moon Fair heirlooms getting an overhaul in patch 6.1. The long-awaited heirloom interface will be upon us to neatly sort all of our BOA gear for all of our characters on all of our servers on our entire account. I think my favorite thing about this whole thing is that my Lobby alts won't be naked because they all share the same pants. With the new interface, simply clicking on the desired piece of heirloom gear will generate a new copy in that character's inventory. So no more pantsless alts, no more mailing gear, unless it's enchanted, in which case you will have to mail that enchanted piece of gear around or enchant the new generated copy in that character's inventory. But luckily, pants don't have enchants, so no more pantsless alts. Moving right along, Wowhead is celebrating the Love is in the Air event with a whole mess of giveaway. Up for grabs is a Wooly White Rhino, five picnic baskets, five over pinatas, and two custom pieces of Wow art illustrated by the amazing Noxie Chew. 
To enter, simply log into wowhead.com, link up your character, and complete any of the Love is in the Air achievements. Achievements from past years count as well. That's it. If you don't believe me, you can check out the links in the info below for full details on the giveaway, as well as information on how you can win a toy foam sword rack. And before I bid you farewell, I pose you all a question. Are you going to be participating in the Love is in the Air event this year? I personally already have my Violet Proto Drake, so I'm not super interested in doing the achievements, but I am running Crown Chemical every day in hopes that the RNG gods will smile upon me and grant me the big love rocket, even though I've come to terms with the fact that that mount does not exist. I don't know if anyone else noticed how those crates look like companion cubes. It's not a coincidence. The big love rocket is a lie. The rocket is a lie. But that's just my two cents on the topic. I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below if you will be participating in the Love is in the Air event and how, why, why not, you know, all the good stuff. While you think about your answer, check out our answers to last week's question. And that's it for this week's Downtime Tuesday. My name's Panzer and my YouTube channel is Trade Chat. If you enjoyed the video, please thumb it up, leave a comment in the comment section below, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. As always, everything I talked about today is linked in the information below. And if you'd like to dive a little deeper into last week's World of Warcraft news, I will also have linked the Wowhead Weekly Podcast. Be sure to check back next Tuesday and every Tuesday for future episodes of Downtime Tuesday to see if your comment is in our featured section. I'm gonna go. I love you all you're in my heart i'll see you soon goodbye 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 ah. been spending most of my life living in the gangsters paradise mm. stop stop it right now she sells seashells by the seashore she sells seashells by the seashore peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers even my mama thinks that my mind is gone and I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it. Leave me treating like a punk, you know that's unheard of. You better watch out you're talking or where you're walking or you and your homies gonna be lying in chalk. I really hate to trip, but I gotta look cause I can see myself in the pistol smoke. Boo, stop it. I think I just, I think that's time to have the song goes. My name's Panzer, and today I'm going to be talking about the happenings in the past week of the, in the, the happenings in. Do, 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 I didn't even have that much caffeine for how much energy I have. I'm never going to get this video filled because I just want to stand up and dance. Ha, 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 ha. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, roll bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, roll a bing, bang. I don't know if I'm like showing my age, but I honestly only know that song from the Rugrats movie soundtrack. Which is earned, which is bit, or, ah, obtained, which is obtained from the Blinktron 5000. So I've noticed a lot of people complaining about, ow, ow. Blizzard has implemented, that 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 words are hard, words are hard. Ah. <laughs> Which will run now away yeah I should <laughs> And the Tonk Challenge will be rewarding players who land hit Dang it score <laughs> Score forty five hits. Among the updates include new Ah. <laughs> Six moon, six moon. <laughs> Just say the whole sentence in one word. <laughs> one. <laughs> this is really, I words are. <laughs> terrible beatboxing skills. Ter don't, like if you ever need somebody to lay down a sick beat, don't ask me to do it. To accommodate for the price different change, <laughs> from the Dark Moon Fair. Oh my God! The, why am I struggling so much? Why is this happening to me? All right, focus, focus your efforts on talking well. I talk real good. 
in other news. No, don't just put words in that don't belong. That's weird. That's a weird thing to do. All right. All right, you got this. Just concentrate. The dark mood fair are armor casings and armor in... No! Also, from... Why am I struggling so it's not even a hard sentence? Black Rock Foundry is not the only thing that citizens of Azeroth can expect this February. Wowhead wrote up a great overview detailing all of the events taking place this month. Along with the new raid, players can expect a new world boss which drops 665 gear as well as the amazing Solar Spirehawk mount. Also, the legendary questline will continue and players will be rewarded for their efforts with a best in slot 710 ring. 